Hello, it's Automation Coach, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you could send emails to a list automatically using Make.com. This video follows a series of videos which introduces Make.com, so you should already have a free account. If not, sign up. It's free to try. Then you head to Scenarios, Add New Scenario, and we're going to go from there. First of all, though, you will need a spreadsheet on Google Sheets, which is free, uh, and you'll need to do the following have a list of email addresses and have a list of names. And you can see here in my example, I have given the headers email, first name and status. And on my school community under Master AI for Marketing, Classroom Master AI for Marketing, here we have a lesson called Send Emails from Spreadsheet, which I will include this spreadsheet as a link for you to use as by way of template and also a template for what we're about to create here. So make sure you've got the spreadsheet ready and let's crack on. First, we click the plus button and we're going to go to Google Sheets. If you can't see it at the top, you just search Google Sheets. And what we want to do is we want to search Google Sheets. So this one, search rows. Here, if you haven't connected to Google already, you will need to do that by pressing the add button. And here you can do sign in with Google. Under search method, you can select the file from your drive and then you can enter in the spreadsheet ID, which will be a drop down option and you can choose. Or if the Google file is not actually stored in your main drive here, for example, mine is available inside a folder, you can see it tucked away there. Then what you can do is you can actually just enter in the spreadsheet ID. So if I change that to select from all, and here's the spreadsheet ID. You might be wondering, well, what is the ID? Um, you can either use this function here to use just like search for it, or very easily, if you go to your spreadsheet and you copy the URL, heading back to make.com, if you paste in the URL, the ID to a spreadsheet is the bit after forward slash D and before forward slash edit. So that's the ID there. Now we want the sheet name of the Google Sheet, which is called Sheet One with capital S. Here we may be able to select it if it finds it. There it is, Sheet One. It's asking, does the con table contain headers? Yes, it does. Email, first name, status. The column range, you can usually leave this as is. And now what we want to do is we want it to return each time there is an email that we have not sent to, an email address that we have not yet sent an email to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want it to filter for when status is equal, or I'm going to change that to does not exist and where email does exist. So let me do that again. Uh, this is going to return a row of information, for example, an email address and a name, but I only wanted to do that if it hasn't already sent an email, which we're going to create. If it has sent an email, what I want it to do is I want it to say email sent. So I know that it's been sent. If it hasn't sent an email, well, I don't want it to do it again. So this filter that we've just set up here is saying the status does not exist, i.e. the status is blank and there is an email address, an email address here. So if I just leave that as is now, and I might, in theory, the next one it should return is Alice. This says an email has been sent to the first one. So when I test it, it should only return Alice. So we're going to test it. And you can test a single module by right-clicking, run this module only. So what it's done, it has returned the first one as Alice. It did not return getautomationcoach at gmail.com because it was already done. Next, we're going to connect up to Gmail. So here's Gmail, and we're going to send an email, and we're going to choose who we want to send the email address to. In this case, we're going to select here where it says email from the spreadsheet. Now, if you don't see these options, what you need to do is you need to run the module. So right click, run this module. Once you've done that and you can see this sort of bubble with the number one, you should then see these options come up, which are under this star tab here. So you're going to click email. So it's going to send it to the email address as found in the spreadsheet. For the subject, this is where we can write whatever we want. Let's, let's make it a invita invitation to birthday party. And now we also want to include their first name. Hi, Alice. I would love to invite you to my birthday party. Please come. Automation coach. So that will replace this green thing with their first name. 
Now, after I've connected that, to avoid spam issues, I'm also going to create a pause between sending each email. And you can do that with the module called sleep. And this is the number of seconds. So I'm going to say that's, for example, 180 seconds, which is three minutes. So what's going to happen now is it's going to look up the spreadsheet, which it did. It's going to find all the email addresses in which we want to send an email to, which it did. And then it's going to send an email one by one and wait three minutes. So the first one I'm going to do is to myself, and then I'll pause it there and show you how it works. So now I'm going to press save because there is no auto save, and I'm going to press run. So the first thing it did was look up the Google Sheet and we can see here are all the email addresses that it found and it now found get automated and coach. This one has now actually sent the email and we're going to check now whether it did get sent and you can see here it's now waiting before sending the next email. So the next one along will be to alicesmith at gmail.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press stop. It says requesting stop. Let's see if we can force it by clicking again. Okay, that's stopped. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check, did the email get sent to me? Let's refresh this. There we go, birthday invitation. And you can see how it's personalized it. Hi, automation coach. And it personalized the subject up there as well. Great. In make.com though, one thing I haven't done, if I go to this spreadsheet, is that it hasn't updated the status to say uh, email sent, which is such something that I wanted to do. So on make.com, I'm now going to change it. So I'm gonna drag this out a bit more to create some space. And after it sends the email, I want it to update my Google Sheet. So I'm going to right click here, add a module. And you can see here, put it between the two dotted lines. I want it to update a row. So did you see that I got Google Sheets update a row? And what we have to do first is we have to find the spreadsheet again, which we're going to do manually again. And we can get that information back over here, spreadsheet ID. So I'm putting in the spreadsheet ID again. Finding the sheet name. Now we know that's called sheet one. So I'm just going to type it in. Sometimes you have to type it. Sometimes it gives you the drop down option. The row number is actually given to you in this spreadsheet over here. So you can see here row number two. So that one you select here. So it's going to update row number two. We're going to select the column range to work with, which is you can just select A to Z. And the column that we're interested in is column C. So here is column C status. And I want it to say email sent. Okay, so I'm going to press save. Remember, there is no auto save on make.com. There's also no undo. You can only go back to a previous version. So it's good to save frequently. And if I press that button, it would go back to my previous save. So I'm going to press run again. Okay, it's found all the email addresses. It sent the email and it should have updated the Google Sheet. So let's go have a look. Ta -da! It has automatically updated to say email sent. So now it will keep running and it will move on to the next one. The really cool thing about this is that I could then get a new list of emails and keep going like this. And let's imagine in the future, this is all email sent, email sent, email sent. And what we could do is we could schedule this to run every single day. And if your list keeps increasing, it will just automatically send the emails to people where it doesn't have email sent as the status. So I'm gonna press stop, force stop. And that is how you can automatically send emails to a whole list of people from Google. The cool thing is, is that you can then start to connect this up to other automations. Imagine, for example, if this list was being automatically updated with prospects, or for example, after sending one email, you could then automatically send a follow up email if they don't reply. All of that is possible with make.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and for a step-by-step -step breakdown, including a blueprint to get this exact template as is, all you have to do is connect up to your services, uh, head to school, head to Automation Coach, Classroom, Master AI for Marketing, and you'll find it under Send Emails from Spreadsheet. And once you have the blueprint, you press these three dots and you do Import Blueprint, and then this will appear as if by magic, all done for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.